Hey guys, what's up? Beast from Beast Toys are coming at you. Got a number 33 bat, cover bat, battle android trooper to be precise. Uh, come from Pulse today. Actually got a hold, got some luck and got a hold of two. Um, could have tried the uh, squeak method, I'll call it, of <clears throat> using my son's name and my parents' address who live up the road and getting them. But I would have paid extra for shipping and or, or whatever. I don't know. But uh, anyway, so I've only got two. Put one over there with my unopened and gonna open one but uh i did get a couple extra of these and a special guest appearance by mudhorn mando I'm gonna do that later um i did do that with target i got lucky um as you know if you pay attention to any either or both <clears throat> that uh the mudhorn story and i'll tell it when i open do the opening i got one sent to my in my kid's name um using my target red card to my parents house so that way I could get an opener. And this one's in pretty good shape. This have a little nick at the bottom. I'm hoping the other one's perfect, but we'll see. Oh, and it did come with a sticker. Yeah, those butthole target uh, people, as usual, putting stickers on it. But the sticker was on the plastic part in the front, this, this part here. So I luckily I peeled it off no problem. But uh, yeah, don't like that. Anyhow, so these are very close to the original. I still have my original, uh, I believe. The chess piece, of course, in my original. Uh, notorious for falling out. So that I don't have. But uh, here's the back artwork. No different uh, yet, I don't believe. I think they've slightly changed these. But uh, there's the side artwork. Um, kind of cool, anyway. But uh, there's the other side with the number. Bottom, of course, nothing different. But 33. Oh, there goes the little instruction piece. And I keep those in there when I keep my boxes in case I ever... I keep all my boxes, so if I ever sell a big chunk or someone's in need of boxes and I decide I just don't care. So I got an attic over my garage full of these empty boxes. So anyway, here's the backpack. So again, very much like the original. Uh, same shape. Of course, obviously not the same size. Um, but you do get the same look. Very cool. I always like these things. Um, one of my good good collecting friends that lives in the town over, um, runs the local Comic-Con. He's a big bat guy. I actually had my uh, 25th anniversary bat up on my wall but there, but uh, I, I traded it to him against my better judgment. I didn't want to, but uh, I did because um, he wanted, he had something I wanted really bad in Star Wars at the time, and I was reluctant, but I did it. So anyway... Very cool. Um, I know we have different chess pieces. I'm trying to look and see. Uh, I don't know if these pop off or you put them over. My eyesight, oh, I'm telling you, it's getting, getting bad. So it looks like I put them over. Um, anyway, throw the backpack on. Oh, might help if I put the right side on. There's a little knob sticking out on the back. It can't really see. Anyway, so yeah, they have, the Joe team has hit a grand slam with the last few releases. This one, the Alley Viper, they're starting to get in there. The Vipers obviously was the first big turning point as far as when they take a look and say, hey, uh, you know, we've got, we're going to start looking more like the original. And that's what. I mean, honestly, it's what it's about. These people, these classified people, they didn't, you know, that video game came out, they didn't care. I, I personally don't, but I mean, again, but I'm happy to have it. Um, I'm guessing at some point we will get a retro Cobra Commander that looks just like the original. Um, there are already people out there that comes with a pistol here. Got a holster, that's awesome. Um... I got more of these coming too, so I'm gonna try to build, have a little army build of them. Anyway, so there are people out there, I'm sure, that really want a Cobra Commander that is like the original. So you can get a battle damage piece here, or you can get a black piece to cover up. I guess you just cover these up. I'll put one on here, uh, just a second. I'm gonna put the plain one on. So, just snaps on. Real simple, nothing to it. Uh, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, this piece could be lost easily. This is the battle damage piece. This piece could be lost. 
You got the variant head. Hey, and you know what? The what else is great about the gel team? Hey, we could package this with an extra head and a few extra pieces and say it's a deluxe pack, but hey, you know what? They don't. So, again, kudos to the Joe team. Star Wars team, I'm telling you, I watched an, in an interview the other day. Some people, it's, it's on YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure what group it is exactly. I have one girl on my Twitter. She, follows, she talks to them somehow, some way, but uh, she was in the interview I saw. <clears throat> Uh, I watched a bit of it. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I, I was back and forth. But at any rate, the long short of it, that Patrick is a clown. Uh, he doesn't care about the product. He's just there for the job. I don't know what he's doing, but he is a clown, straight up. Um, love him. Good for you. I do not care for him. I think he's a, a, a big-time clown. And the Joe team... And from what I understand, the Marvel team works circles around those dudes. So, um, you know, the designer guy, uh, Eric, or whatever his name is, he's okay. I think he's a little more in touch. But I don't think Patrick gives them the opportunity to be more in touch. So, again, just uh, another shady dealing of it. So, <clears throat> here's a pack, back, backpack with that on. Let me try, how does this work? Just pop it out. Put it on. This was my favorite piece on my original bat. The gun. or This was a flamethrower, I bet. But the gun. That was my original favorite piece. But I like how they gave him a pistol where you could actually put it in his hand if you want to give him a, a actual hand. And then, of course, we can stick the uh, extra hand hang it on this backpack <laughs> how about that so there's that look i'll give you each look here real quick getting ready to take the missus out for a nice dinner and gonna go to a winery down it's about an hour away from here but a really nice place uh called purple toad it's in kentucky so about an hour from me here he is there's his claw Guess you want guess I can give him the extra head look too. Well let's go ahead and maybe this is the guess this is supposed to be the laser one. I'll put this one on. Guess this is his laser. I don't know. It's more like a drill to me. What do you think? That's what I think. Um you know, I kinda like the cover up piece, but in all honesty, I like the original look better. Much better. Let's change heads and uh, see what that looks like. Put his hand back on. I actually like the bat just as is in, in this case here with just his regular hand. and Oh, that slides back on. That went mom real easy. That's good. Hopefully it's not one of those deals that gets loose and fall off. Let's try a... Let's switch the heads up. Take a look at that and see. It just pops on and off, it looks like. Nope, oh, I hear the missus. She's probably gonna be like, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. There it is. So there's your damage to look. You can really make this thing look cool. Can't wait to get more of these and uh, put them together. So, all right, before she interrupts me, guys, that's it. Let's call it a night. So, as always, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Sorry, I gotta go, guys. I'm Beast from Beast Toys. We'll see ya.